Your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Welcome to this, your daily 180 Bible study. This week, we're talking about frequently asked questions about baptism. Today, we're going to ask this crucially important question. Is baptism really the dividing line between the lost and the saved? I mean, does, is it really, are you saying that if a person's not baptized for the forgiveness of sins, that they can't be made right with God? If an individual has the ability to stand responsibly and accountably before God, what does the Scripture say? Well, consider just a couple of passages of Scripture. Galatians chapter 3 and verse number 27 is a very significant passage of Scripture because in that passage which we read this, For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Now I want you to understand what he's saying. How do you get into Christ? Paul says it's in baptism. Somebody says that doesn't make sense to me. God didn't ask for my opinion or your opinion. That's what God says. That's what his Holy Spirit inspired apostle says. We get into Christ through baptism. And Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3 says, All spiritual blessings are in Christ Jesus. Friends, if it's possible to be saved without being scripturally baptized, then it is possible to be saved without being in Christ. I want you to consider another passage of Scripture. Powerful, powerful passage of Scripture. Romans chapter 6. In Romans chapter 5, really 4 and 5, Paul makes the argument that we are justified by faith. It is the idea that all we can do is trust and obey. Now, when we do that, does that mean that we can just live any old way that we please? Oh, no. There was a great division made. We made a strong, powerful, ethical statement when we were scripturally baptized. And, and he says, certainly not. You can't just live any way you want to. Notice what he says. And here's the reason why, beginning at verse 3. Or do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Did you get that? There's an old life back there. Now, that old life tries to resurrect itself sometimes, but that's an old life. We're living a new life now in Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and verse 17, we're a new creation in Christ Jesus. What was the dividing line? baptism. Join us again tomorrow for your daily 180.